hey what up decisive marketers so there has been a big surge of roadmap tools out in the market right because of covid a lot of uh, people are actually starting up SaaS businesses um i mean a lot of people are going online and starting businesses and SaaS businesses are one of them and because of that search of SaaS businesses, a lot of roadmap tools came about. So a lot of you are actually asking me to, you know, uh, be reviewing some of these roadmap tools. And today, um, I do have one to share with all of you, and it's called Feedback. Okay, so um, Feedback is actually being used by um, a couple of uh, SaaS business that some of you might have heard of them. One is Markup Hero. And the other one is actually called Sing Spider, right? So these two um, that I know of are actually making use of Feedback. So before we dive into Feedback, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So here we are in uh, Feedback. Uh, this is actually the Sing Spider roadmap itself that is actually making use of feedback so we can actually see here on the bottom that says powered by feedback right so this is markup hero and it's powered by feedback so one thing is um, i'm not able to show you right now because i'm actually locked in is they do have uh, social logins um, i do know that they have facebook and google and i two other logins i think one of them is email and the other one i, I can't recall so uh, so with feedback, one thing that really stands out is you know the you know the interface. It's is very simple, right? You got your search here. You got your bots, your different bots in here, and the it it tries to utilize uh, the width for the the desktop, uh, you know the the uh your your monitor right the 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 uh the uh, width of your monitor itself so um, everything looks great uh, you've got you know um, very thick fonts which I do enjoy uh, because looking at this it just um, it's it, it looks great right so uh, the, the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is the um, mobile uh, responsive uh, version okay so this is how it looks like Okay, so it looks it still looks great, and there's some gradient on my profile uh, picture, which you know that that looks nice, right? Okay, so we're gonna scroll down here. So one thing that um you 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 gotta see that my cursor is on actually on the side because if I scroll here and then you you see that I kind of get stuck here. So one thing about feedback um, that I would suggest for them is to make your is actually to make the uh, roadmap uh, section to be a horizontal scroll right so you can actually scroll uh, left and right okay left and right for the uh, um, to be able to uh, swipe between different uh, columns right between the plan in progress and done uh, columns right here so that's something that I feel <coughs> is missing with uh, the uh, feedback right uh, so so I think the interface looks okay it looks okay it's just um, I would suggest that they do a horizontal scroll uh, for this uh, feature here then um, let's dive into uh, the feature um, let me bring up my empty board right here so um, let's see this should be my empty board right here so uh, one thing that does looks nice is if you are just kind of um, starting out is that at least they've got the it, it's not so boring right they've actually added some um illustrations in here okay and uh um let's see so uh you can actually set up your bot settings in here so this is how it looks like okay so like for example the feature request this is what uh it looks like so you can even change like 
the text you can change everything in here right the form uh placeholder which is this one you can edit that the body uh the name of that you can change it so everything is very customizable right so the title the placeholder the intro text the heading in here uh the slug right the the uh the name of the the board itself everything can be customized right everything can be customized here and let's jump back in here um let's um let's go back in here okay so next is we're going to jump into the general settings so you can also set the uh color the accent color which is the buttons and uh stuff like that as well right so you can actually change the uh color um if you want to but um one thing that it is missing here is there's no color picker for me so i got to find like uh, blue oh, right so maybe i got to select this one and paste it in here before i have something right so this is where it's a little bit um uh feature that that feedback could improve on then uh, you can put your logo uh, you can also put your square logo for your favicon and share icons and uh and also on your home screen which board do you want to show like the uh, change log roadmap or feature request so that means if i'm going to this page right here it will right now is actually showing me the roadmap so i can actually show the change log as the home page itself right so that's something that you can um, set with feedback and uh and their plan is actually um if i recall is quite generous in the sense that um if you get the uh, pro plan they actually give you unlimited members uh just for that single project itself uh, integration wise it is missing out a little bit okay let me just <laughs> blur this out a little just in case All right so um so this so they have zapier integration intercom widget so um, you can actually have uh, intercom uh, widget on your feature page itself uh, and also slack uh, url so one thing that is um, i would say would be the downside of feedback is you can't insert your own custom script so you can't actually add in your own support widgets in there um, there is no uh, it's only zapier so you you there's no um, webhook there is no uh like pebbly or, or uh integral mat or other kind other tools for um automation and integrations right and you only have slack right here okay there's only slack url uh so you can only send messages to slack for now so that's something that is missing out and then uh you can actually set custom domain here uh so privacy as well which whether you want it to be private or public and your um change log page do you want to activate it or not and lastly would be the widget so one thing really cool about their widget is that you can uh embed the uh widget right you can actually embed the widget and uh you can also uh what you can see here is uh, of course there's the single sign on which is your google facebook login uh and uh and then you've got your you can actually hook feedback to an element so um so basically what happens is that you can have a menu item or a button somewhere and if you click on that on your website it actually pulls out the uh feedback widget right the feedback widget which usually uh you know it, it opens up the feedback uh widget okay so that's something that you can do with uh feedback it's a very simple tool that looks um uh, it looks great um the only comments would be horizontal scroll on uh, mobile uh <coughs> horizontal scroll on mobile and also uh more integrations right so they should 
um, try to have uh, webhooks and other um, integrations as well so I think that's all I have about Feedbear I think it is um, it's a it's a decent tool for what it does um, you know you you know just using it you can tell that this feels like a premium tool All right and uh, let me know what you think about the feedback in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up and lastly if you know anyone who could benefit from a uh, roadmap tool do share them uh, share with them uh, you know about feedback and, and I mean this video on feedback itself and I'll see you in my next video